I want to get penetrated by David Udd's lightsaber. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh Jesus. Anyway, welcome back to the channel today. Me and Shady are going to be watching Droid Breakout, a Star Wars fan film, episode one. Uh, yeah, there are there's like three episodes of this. There are. I don't know they're going to be coming out each and every week, but I do know that David worked specifically hard to make sure this came out on May 4th. We are watching this on, Re um, on Return of the Six. <laughs> wait, wait, is that is that is that really a, a holiday, Return of the Six? Yeah, there is um, May the 4th, Revenge of the 5th, and Return of the Six. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was just May the 4th and Revenge of the 5th. Okay. Um... Yeah, so uh, from what I've seen, this movie looks really cool so far. Like, given that, uh, you know, you're not working with Lucasfilm, it looks pretty damn good. Um, I'm just hoping that they redeem a lot of things that were from the sequels, especially the Sith Troopers, um, because, damn it, Rise of Skywalker, you wasted them. Sucks. Um, yeah, so I I'm, I'm, I'm ready to watch this whenever you are. I'm ready too. All right, Let's and um, without further ado, David, this is the first film that you've ever directed that I have seen and been excited for. So let's do this. Hell yeah! In three, two, one, Pinky. <laughs> oh yeah, Pinky's the star of this. That's why I said it. <laughs> Jakku. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, very cool. Let's go. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. A little bit of comedy there. The effects are really good. Yeah. Oh boy. That was David's voice. Oh really? Yeah. Give us a crystal. Hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> David. Yeah, I... God, she made a cameo. Let's go. Hey, they got jet trooper. Or, yeah, they got jets. Oh, they got jetpacks? I don't even see them. Sir, what's wrong? A ship is missing. 
<laughs> uh, flew a ship. Yeah, I can see it. Fuel low. Ill? No, it can't be. Cole! Let's go, Cole. Cole does look like a mechanic for some reason. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but Cole just looks older than me. Disturbance in the force. Early implications that you have the force? Yeah. Yeah, I got a feeling he's gonna be kind of like a Cal Kestis kind of person. And that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, so that was episode one of Droid Breakout. Yeah. Um, good start. I would say definitely very intriguing so far. Um, I'm honestly looking forward to the part where Cole fights Michael the most. Um, yeah. But uh, I think for, for what it was, it was, it was a good start to it. Yeah, I would say... I'm going to start off with the nitpicks, right? Okay. Uh, nitpick number one, I'll be real, sound design has a, leaves a lot to be desired. Mm-hmm. Um, David, I love you. You're not a voice actor. <laughs> yeah, it, it, he didn't, like, sound really intimidating yeah. to be a set stripper. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't have to sound intimidating. It's just, like, he sounded low. He sounded like, this shit works on our phone. Right? Instead of, like, Troy scum, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, something yeah. that just sounds like, oh my yeah. god, I hate this guy. But at the same time, <laughs> so you don't have to be, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it for what it is, and the um. But here are the pros. Intriguing story. What does that crystal mean? Uh, what the Sith troopers are we gonna see more of them? Are more of that commander specifically, or are they just gonna be like rotating characters? What's gonna happen next? And how does Michael deal with this? I mean, I guess that one makes sense. Maybe he's just an inquisitor. But I believe Cole told me that Michael does play like an inquisitor or something. Yeah, um, I'm excited to see how this but, plays out. But that, that's a thing, though. So, like, I don't think David is trying to make this canon to, like, the actual Star Wars universe. I think it's kind of more like a retelling of, of the sequel trilogy. Because, like, there's no way, like, bb is going to be on his own, especially when the final order is around. That's what it was called in Rise of Skywalker, not Force Awakens or The Last Jedi. So, I it's just kind of its own thing. Yeah. So, point thing, just very convoluted and they didn't know what they were doing. Got it. <laughs> I, yes, I'm going to be very passive-aggressive towards that fucking movie. I don't know you, you know what? You know what? As flawed as it might be, it's more enjoyable than Ryan Johnson's thing that he calls The Last Jedi. <laughs> I got to be honest. I like The Last Jedi more than The Rise of Skywalker. I, I know, I know. Yeah. But, uh, but overall, I'd give this a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, 8 out of 10. Animation I'll, wise, I'll give it a 7.5 for right now, j j just because, like, yeah. like, not much has really happened yet. It's still being set up. I feel like once part 2 and 3 are out, I'll definitely look a lot more fondly on this. Yeah. Uh, all right. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Our reaction to Joy Breakout Episode 1. Subscribe to Shady, Cole, and David's channels. Subscribe to my channel, The Knife Stalker. And we will see you all in the next video. 
Peace out up in here. <laughs>